Hello, everybody. Today is a very exciting day. Why is it an exciting day? Well, I'll tell you why. You guys have known for the last few weeks I've been car shopping since I moved to Detroit, Michigan, and I finally bought a car. That's right. It is one of, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, it was one of the scariest moments of my life. I just dropped $55,000 on a vehicle. So, I'm not gonna tease you guys with what, you know, what could have been, but you guys know I was driving the Ram 1500, the big horn. You guys know I drove a Wrangler 4x4, the Wrangler um, Sahara. You guys know I was interested in the Jeep Gladiator, which is Jeep's all new truck. Um, threw around the idea of a Fiat 500 A-Bar, threw around the idea of a Subaru WRX STI. Basically thought of a little bit of everything that I could ever possibly imagine and I think from the very beginning, what I wanted was very clear. I just had to, you know, get my mom's buy-in. I think that was the biggest issue. I had to get my mom's buy-in because ultimately she is the she is the teller of truths and made sure that I was being responsible with my money and I wasn't gonna go blow it on a fucking McLaren. Which I could have bought a McLaren, I wish I did. Nah, I wouldn't have bought a McLaren. But further ado, I'm gonna go get my truck. Damn it, <laughs> I'm gonna go get my vehicle and I'm gonna drive it on. Let's do it. It's fucking right. I bought a 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn black appearance package. It's dope. LED package, black appearance package, um, Tech 2 package. It has a huge, like almost an eight and a half inch touchscreen display, heated seats, heated steering wheel. Has like 14 cup holders. It has 14 cup holders. What else? Um, two auxiliary plugs, like normal wall sockets that you have in your house. It has four USBs and two USB Cs. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to walk you guys through this all of the cool features that I bought. Um, this is gonna be a condensed version. I'm going to go in each one of these features in upcoming videos, kind of more in depth. But this is it. This is my 2019 Ram 1500. Oh, I got the Moroni. Check it out. I'm always afraid I don't wanna get dirt on it. I've never had one of these. Look at that. Ram 1500, big horn, black crew cab, four by four. So, let's go through each one of the cool features that makes it unique, and let's go. Come on, follow me into the truck. All right, so first feature that is optional equipment, because I got the black appearance package, I had to upgrade another $100 to get the diamond and black crystal pearl coat exterior paint. It's like black, but fancier. It's like black, but fancier. Look how shiny it is. That's right, I'm in a parking lot right now. All right, so option two that I decided to put on my Ram 1500 truck was the premium LED lighting group. Why did I do that? First off, I think LEDs look pretty badass on a truck. Second off, they're brighter than normal. You know, I'm really afraid of people who drive in Michigan. I want them to be able to see my tail lights as much as I can. So what does that include? It's front LED um, uh, fog lamps, LED automatic reflecting headlamps, and the LED tail lamps. So let's look at those now. Now for the third upgrade, for a, a grand whopping, grand whopping, that's not a word, whopping $1,800 or $1,895 was a black appearance package. That's right. So the black appearance package includes a few different things. The biggest one is a 20 inch set of black aluminum wheels, which are pretty badass. Um, black exterior badging throughout the entire truck. Um, black headlamp bezel, so you just saw the LED lamps but the actual encasing of the LEDs are black themselves. Black interior accents and deluxe cloth bucket seats. 
I decided I didn't want leather even though there was an option because in the summer when it does get hot, I don't want my butt sticking to the leather. I've dealt with that in the past and I'm just not into it. So cloth is where it's at. Next option for a nice $695 is black tubular side steps. I'm not very tall. I need something to step on before I can get into my truck. For another $195, I decided to go with the wheelhouse liners. Why? It protects my truck from rusting, right? Um, the liners protect from salt and anything kind of water, stuff like that, getting up into the frame of the truck. A little plastic. So the final upgrade, which is comprised of a lot of little upgrades, is the level two equipment group. Um, everything is basically inside the truck at this point, except for one thing, which is the soft close truck bed. So let's go show that. And then we're gonna jump into the truck and we're gonna show everything that's going on in there with this upgrade. Soft. Before we jump in, sorry, my mistake, class four receiver hitch. You know, cause you got that truck stuff, you gotta tow stuff. Cooler pieces that are in this truck are there not one, but 215 watt auxiliary ports. So what is that? That is the port you have inside your house, right? With the prongs. Got one here. Whoop. And then there's another one right in the back seat in the center console. Why is that cool? I have a lot of electronics. I am a photographer, you guys know that. It's really cool that I can just plug in this in, plug my computer in, and kind of have like a mobile office wherever I'm at. One of the cooler features that I have in my truck, honestly, it's going to be the most used and has been the most used since I bought this a few days ago. Pardon it for being dirty, but 8.4 inch display. I'm gonna turn it on, it's gonna start up. Yes, we're gonna accept that. No device available. 8.4 inch touch screen display. Everything from my radio, which we're not going to play because I don't want to get hit. Different kinds of media. When I usually when I plug my phone in, that shows up. All of my climate. Boop, boop. You connect apps. Backup cam, heated seats, all of this is here. Controls for individual seats, backup cam, uh, mirror dimmer settings, heated wheel, phone if it was connected, all my Bluetooth calling, all of that, and just additional settings. Really nice that this is all touchscreen. It's come a long way in the last few years and just like user-friendly and UX design. So there are a lot of USB ports in this truck. There are two up front and two USB-Cs right above the power next to the CD player. USB, USB, USB-C, USB-C. You can plug them in your phone or Android or whatever and it, your uh, UX connect, you connect the screen in the middle will actually ask you which phone you want to use and it gives you the options as what the v phones are named. It's really easy to switch between devices as if you're changing songs or mapping directions or anything like that. 
I have an iPhone. Obviously, I've been an Apple guy most of my life. I am a fanboy. Um, but it does support Android Auto. In addition, it does support CarPlay. CarPlay, if you don't know what it is, it is Apple's UX, basically takeover of the RAM uh, Connect screen. Super useful. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like now. CarPlay, it looks just like your phone. Maps, messages, Spotify, Google Maps, podcasts, whatever you guys could imagine. Spotify, what do I listen to? Oh, that's not how that's supposed to be. That's okay, it works. So power folding mirrors, hit of a button, boop. So, also, it has supplemental signals. So, I'm gonna turn out going on left. I'll check this out. Ugh. Jumping out of the truck. Boom. Them LED signals. Something that's also included in the truck is called ParkSense. So, basically, if you get too close, it will warn you. I don't know if it's going to. I'm going at it kind of an angle. There we go. See it? Yellow. And if I did the same thing in reverse, First off, the camera shows up. As with most trucks of this size, heated seats, three different levels. You can con actually control this up here as well. Passenger heat. And steering wheel. Nice and toasty. Op uh, rear window opening, as you can see it in the back. Press of a button, a um, bunch of lights here. They have three different garages settings that you can do. So right now I have one of my gates opened up and my garage door all set to this. Really easy to program. I'm actually gonna create another video about how I program that later. Don't worry about that. Single CD player. What's up? Remember when this was a thing? It still is because this is where I play my Backstreet Boys. Something that's really cool about this is it came with radio Sirius. It came with a one year subscription to Sirius. I, oh, I, hit, I hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Radio. Boom. So one year subscription. Ace on bass. What's up? can't really show you as this now, but lots of different ways to move the seat forward and back and all of that. So thank you guys for making it this far. I just took you guys through my 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn 4x4. Um, I went through all of the upgrades that I did to the truck before I uh, took it. Sorry, before I bought it. Sorry. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive it. There's going to be a shit ton of photos going up on my Instagram and my Facebook. So if you don't follow me there, Instagram.com slash the Berlin Biker. Facebook, just search Berlin Biker. I'm all over the social media world and network and stuff. But lots of photos coming. Don't you worry about that. Um, anything, any of these cool features that you guys saw me talk about, if you're really interested in them and you want to learn more, put a comment down below. I'll make a video just for you. Just for you. Um, but I think that's it right now. I really appreciate you guys coming along on this journey of my, my truck. It's been chaotic. It's been stressful. It's been fun. It's been fun. I'm glad that this is what I decided on. I really love this truck. I really love driving it. Um, I've only had it for a few days at this point and every day has made me smile. So thank you guys for making it this far. I know I already said that, but Berlin Biker is out. Thank you again. Yeah, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs>